Good morning. This is Michael Tiemann of Manifold Recording, and today is the day of the Well-Tempered Salon. We're going to have a recording workshop in here in the morning, and we're going to show people how microphone placement, microphone selection, uh, gain staging, and preamps affect everything. And I thought I'd start today's tour in the control room. This is where Ian Schreier is going to be leading the session. As you can see here, this is our main monitoring environment, and we've got this uh, wonderful API vision console. Let's go take a quick, closer look at what is on tap. So what we've got here, we've got a little uh, tracking sheet. Here is a list of our microphone selections with uh, preamp assignments. So as you can see, we're going to make, be making extensive use of DPA microphones. We've got omnis and cardioids, compact cardioids. We've got the beautiful 4041 tube microphones doing some duty up in the room. We'll see that a little bit later. But we've also got a bunch of Sheps, some Coles, 4038s, Royers, uh, stereo and mono, and of course uh, Neumann 149s, which uh, give us a room with body. What we're doing is we've got uh, two setups, one we call main and one we call alt. And uh, here's the beautiful tracking sheet from our from our from one of our interns. And let me show you why you want to hire an architecture student as an intern. Look at what Riley has done, how beautiful that is. That's great. So here we are looking down the tracking sheet, or looking down the channel strips. So here, this is our so-called main setup. And in the main setup, we've got microphones over the hammers. Uh, we've got microphones over the strings. We've got a tree set up for LCR recording. We've got a couple of different room choices. Room A is our uh, distant direct mics, and room B are our indirect mics. And the tail is at the tail of the piano. And just to give you a look down the channel strip, so you can see how much beauty there is there. There it is. Nice. In the center section there, you can see our uh, router, our Harrison router. We are um, sending all this data into our digital infrastructure. And in fact, it's possible to monitor this in our surround room as well. Probably not go there on this particular trip. There's our little motion control board for our x -Dubber. We're using a TC6000 to lightly compress what we're going to be sending out on Ustream for our video. And then here, we've got our alternative setup. And again, just as before, let me roll this trolley out of the way. We've got our mics over the hammers, mics over the strings, our LCR tree, our room A and B, and our tail. And again, just to show you what that all looks like in relief, there we go. Beautiful. There it is. And just the obligatory shot down fade a row so you can just see all that we're dealing with. I think Ian's comment was that he has never used this many microphones on a single piano before, but of course the reason we're using so many microphones is so we can see what all the differences are. Now some of those microphones are going through the console preamps, but other ones are going through some of our other toys. There you can see a bunch of BAE 1084s. We've got eight of them, and we'll be putting those to use to demonstrate the difference between the Neve sound and the API sound. And then uh, over here, we've got some uh, some compressors and other things that generally help us make a mix sound like it was actually made in a studio. I'm just taking a quick pan here at our back wall. This is our just beautiful, beautiful diffusion. Going back there, nice. And let's head into the main room to just see what's what again. 
We did a little preliminary video yesterday, but our philosophy is everything can always be done better. And indeed, we've got more stuff set up in this room, so let's take a look at that. You can probably hear that the acoustics of my voice have dramatically changed. That should be no surprise. And here you can see the first evidence of our massive microphone setup. Up there you can see our two trees being deployed. One will be our quote-unquote main tree and one will be our um, alternative tree. Let's go take a closer look. Coming around and let's see. We'll see if we can do this without looking too much into the light. Aim our camera up a little bit. There we go. And now, I know what you're thinking. You want that in focus. I do too. All right. So, we've got three Royer 122s that are arranged in a kind of a hybrid Blumline setup. We've got two of them facing in opposite directions that give us the classic Blumline. But then we've also got one in the center. And that central support as the uh, as the folks attending the workshop will find really adds a interesting character to the sound it really actually helps build the body of the sound it, it not only sounds wide but it sounds full and then we also have our DPAs we've got a pair of cardioids pointing in opposite directions those are the 4011s and then with the ball on it we've got the Omni uh, 4006 and that's a very classic uh, configuration as well. Turning our attention a little closer to the piano, here we have the microphones over the strings. We have uh, a Royer SF12, which you can see there up top. That's a stereo ribbon microphone, sounds very sweet. And below it, we've got a DPA uh, compact cardioid pair. And uh, that's one of our favorite ways to capture the piano. Moving back a little bit here, we've got our microphones for the tail of the piano. And these microphones, uh, we've got a Sheps uh, CM6 Mark V, which you can see there, and also a DPA, I believe it's a 4011 as well. This Bersendorfer has a, a great sound, and the back of the instrument where we've got these mics produces uh, a really uh, well-bodied tone. So we'll be capturing that, playing with that, seeing how it blends with everything else. Now coming back around here a little bit, we have here our mics over the hammers and let's uh, go here, let's go uh, close up first. So there's a Sheps CM6 Mark V and its opposite number is down there in the background those are our mics over the hammers that belong to our so-called main configuration. That's a configuration we've used and liked a lot. But just for contrast and uh, example, we're also putting a pair of Cole's 4038s above the hammers. And uh, we'll hear the contrast between the uh, condenser microphone and the, and the ribbon. Now, stepping back just a little bit so you can appreciate the beauty of the piano. This is a Bersendorfer uh, Concert Grand. It's a model 280. It's nine feet long, and it sounds absolutely wonderful. Richard Ruggiero was in here uh, for over an hour yesterday getting all the tuning and voicing just up to scratch, and uh, reports from Kimiko Ishizaka are she is delighted with the character of the piano. So we're, we're happy. Uh, a happy artist gives a great performance. So let's go and look at our, um, our room mics. And this is going to be a little bit of a challenge only because right now we've got our theater lighting on and that makes these microphones almost invisible. But way up there, there is that microphone. And let's just open this super trick lens here a little bit. There you see the pair, which is the uh, Neumann M149 and its uh, alternative, the DPA 4041 tube microphone 
absolutely brilliant, brilliant microphone. And its uh, kindred pair is way down there in the background, as you can see. There's another M149 and another 4041. So those are giving us our distant uh, uh, direct room sound. But we've also got a pair of Sanken C100Ks. And these microphones deserve special mention as well. This one is now wearing its accessory. But uh, if we look up here, the Sanken is special because it has um, a reach of well above 20 kilohertz. And it actually has a, a pretty strong EQ boost as the frequencies go into the ultrasonics. And what that does is that counterbalances the air's natural tendency to attenuate high frequencies. What you get is a very nicely balanced indirect sound. It's got a lot of a lot of life in it, and that's uh, that's a wonderful thing. So we'll be playing around with that, seeing how that sounds. And here we are looking again at our lovely piano. I'm probably dialing the exposure back a little bit because now we are in the light. So that concludes our brief tour of the workshop as set up. I guess I should show just a little bit our, our room here. Let me sit where the artist would sit, which is right about here. And let's just take a quick little pan around the room. So these are all the folks who are going to be listening to reality so that they can compare the results of the performance with the results of the room. Taking a step back here, showing a little bit more what's going on in our room. So there you have it. The ladder, of course, is going to be removed once we no longer need to uh, fix anything upstairs. And we look forward to webcasting this from Miraverse, M-I-R-A-V-E-R-S-E dot -E com. We're going to be using Ustream because Ustream gives us a high quality audio and video feed. Not been too happy with some of the other alternatives, so we're going to be using Ustream. Come to Miraverse.com and you'll find a, a link that will direct you to uh, the Ustream, which will be starting a little before 5 so everybody can get connected, but our salon will start at 5 o'clock today. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.